hello CT UK members and all you uh, internet guys. Today we're down at Stories having a look at uh, scratch windows, doing a few bits and bobs on the windows. There's been a few people posting on CT UK. How do you clean your windows? How do you get scratches out of them, etc. Um, today I've got three different types of cleaner. I've got window wires, which is uh, this little bottle here, Fenwick's window wires, which you can get off the internet. Not a lot in a bottle, but it's about a ten or a bottle. We've got some uh, Caravan acrylic window cleaner, which is squirty bottle. Not sure how much this one was. It's been in the cupboard for a while. Again, it's a bit of a clean, a bit of a polish. And my favourite bit of kit is the uh, Ferrecla G3 rubbing compound, which does everything. Okay, so what we've done, masked up the window, as you can see. We've done it in the section so you can see which one's what. Fenwick's window wires, Caravan acrylic window cleaner, G3 rubbing compound, regular grade paste compound, whatever you want to call it. Um, before I've done this, I cleaned this window with uh, a drop of warm soapy, soapy water just to get all the uh, grit, grime, any little bits of uh, muck off of there. So, first one we're going to have a go at is the Fenwick's window wires. As I say, you can buy this online, um, you buy it in most camping shops, I believe, caravan shops, dealers. It's about £10 a bottle. You don't get a lot for your money, but it is good stuff. Mustn't grumble. So, what we want to do, get a little bit on the cloth. Give it a good shake first, obviously, which I've already done. Get a bit on the cloth. And then what we want to do is get a nice circular motion. Right, we'll leave this Fenwick's on here for a couple of minutes just to make sure it dries off. Whilst we're doing that, I'll start on the next one, which is the Caravan. Sorry, I've got rid of half the writing there. Caravan acrylic window cleaner. Good stuff, bit of an all-rounder, really. A little bit of a squirt. Really two-second job with this stuff. It's on there, give it a buff. So all you've got to do with this stuff. It's just basically like your window cleaner you'd use indoors, really. I'll tell you what, what we'll do first is we'll take the Fenwick's one off, then we'll move down to the acrylic one. So we've got that on there and I'm saving my best one for last. So we'll give this one a bit of a buff to a shine. Get all that excess off. Look at that. Flip the cloth. Microfiber cloths, guys, always the best for the old windows. Nice soft cloth. Make sure there's no grit or bits and Grotty bits and bobs in there, starting to scratch your windows more. I'll tell you what, these are going to need a few goes over these windows, they're that bad, aren't they? I think the G3 are doing it. Anyway, well, anyway. Well, that's made a massive difference. Then we move down to this Caravan acrylic window cleaner that we've let dry on now. Give that a spin. go and that's them two as you can see made a huge difference the best one is the Fenwick's window wires but that is actually for removing scratches whereas this acrylic window cleaner doesn't really I don't think that's for really removing scratches more of a cleaner um, yeah it's a, it's a cleaner more than anything it's just a liquid there's no type of abrasive in that um, it's literally just a cleaner um, that's why we've still got quite a, a lot of hairline scratches in this one, but not in that one. But the Fenwick's is doing its job well, as always. And then we move down to my favourite, which is uh, a drop of rubbing compound. Get a bit of a shake. Now, realistically, I always like to use this with a drop of water. Right, with the uh, G3, I always just wet the window a little bit. Not that you, it makes a great deal of difference, it just takes a little bit out. Damp the cloth, a little drop of water. And then the magic paste, G3 rubbing compound. Now this stuff, it's the stuff of the gods. Again, it's a very, very mild abrasive, but it's pretty much exactly the same 
There's all your Fenwick cleaners and uh, window scratch removers and all that. It's very mild abrasive. Let's give it lots of rubbing. Circular motions, all different ways, just to get all them little scratches that are going in all different directions. Don't want it too wet, another little dab. A bit more on there. Now I've always used, I use G3 compound on pretty much everything. You can even use it on the front plastics of your van. You can use it on metal. You can use it on anything. Just bearing in mind that it is a mild abrasive. You get different grades of it, but uh, it's awesome stuff. I love it. Give that a good rubbing. I leave that to dry for a couple of, couple of smidges. And we'll give it a, a wipe down. Right, that's the G3 applied. Let it dry for a couple of minutes, just so it's uh, done its magic. Then we're just literally gonna buff that to a nice shine. Now, as you can see, that is even better than the Fenwicks. <laughs> and that's why I love this stuff, because it's amazing. It's not overly cheap, but you do get a nice big tub for your money, and a little drop goes a long way. As you can see, there's the free the three comparisons, you got that one, which is the compound, that one, which was just the cleaner, that one, which is the Fenwick's. There's a very close, there's a, a very close uh, result there with the, the Fenwick's and the compound, but as I say, I always go with a compound because that is perfection. You can see the massive difference, <laughs> massive. And then what I tend to do after I've done any of the, these are going to need a few coats of that because as you can see the windows are so badly scratched but what i tend to do after i've cleaned windows lots of people say otherwise but it's all down to preference um i tend i tend to go a bit over the top i've got some uh i'm not advertising anyone's polishes or anything here but it's something i use auto bright direct it's quite an expensive polish smells of cherries it's actually called cherry glaze the polish glaze and wax all in one and what i tend to do once i've done these Get all the pores closed in the plastic. Little drop of polish. You can use auto glim car polish, Meguiar's, whatever you like. Little drop of polish over them. Leave it for a second, just to get it nice and protected again. Because all these abrasives, what you got to remember is they're uh, they're opening all the pores inside the plastic and things. And if you can get them sealed up, you can even wax your windows. People say, "Oh, don't get wax on your car windows and all that." I do it on my car windows and my caravan windows. I use a nice. Um, zip wax, a nice hard wax is the best one. Rub it on there, let it dry, rub it off. And when you're sitting in your caravan on them rainy days, there won't be no water sticking to your windows, you'll just be washing it all rub off. There we go, look at that, crystal clear. That's that bit. This is the one I just, this is that window cleaner, and that's just with that window cleaner and that polish. And although there's still lots of scratches on it because it's, it's the uh, cleaner and not an actual abrasive, it still comes up nice. And then your fan wick up the top here. Again, that polished. Perfect, look at that. Yeah. I don't know what you can see in the camera and what you can't. It's hard looking at transparent surfaces. But, if I pull all these off, <laughs> I think you'll see the difference now. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but we have quite a steep difference in a uh... can you see that right so today what we've basically done got my extremely scratched windows which are covered in hairline scratches give the window a clean little drop of warm soapy water dry it off then take your pick between your Fenwick's um, as I say this caravan a uh, caravan acrylic window cleaner is just a window cleaner. This won't remove your scratches, but it'll give your windows a good clean if you're not sure what to clean them with. But getting scratches out, you want to drop the window wise on my old trusty faithful bit of kit, which is the uh, G3 rubbing compound. Love this stuff. You can use it on everything. Um, once you've done them all, there's your three sections. That was the rubbing compound. That was just your cleaner, hence the fact there's still quite a lot of scratches. That was the Fenwick's scratch remover. So really good results. Um, hopefully you can see most of them on there. Once you've ever, once, whenever you clean your windows, it's always best to go over them with a drop of polish or some wax or something. I always polish and wax mine, so get the scratches out with a drop of compound. 
you can use an auto glim, resin polish, that's a good one. Maguire's is good. I use cherry glaze, um, which is a good one. Once you've done them all, get yourself some wax, hard wax, all over the windows. Leave it for five or 10 minutes. You can do a couple of coats with the wax. Buff it off, they'll be crystal clear, see for them, see your reflection in them. You'll be sitting away, you can watch the rain run off them. It's, uh, it's great, good results. Happy days.